Hey, Cappy, it's Mary Ellen, coming to you from Moonrise Cottage. I am thrilled to be here. As you know, I've been in transition, and I actually spent the day today with Capricorn, with your energy, through some personal readings that were just so beautiful. I am continuing to just be very touched by the Capricorn journey. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, evening is coming on, and I was feeling as if I should uh, just put it to rest, so to speak, for the day. And I just sat here just kind of thinking, you know, meditating in a sense about the Capricorn energy. And I got a little <laughs> second wind and, you know, Spirit gave me a little nudge and I thought I'm going for it because your energy is filling the house at this point. So I wanted to invite, invite you in and start the reading with this visual and say thank you for being here. So I'm going to reset the camera and we'll go forward. So Cappy, <laughs> check it out. Um, there's a little housekeeping. Sorry, I, I'm just being nudged. I want to jump in. But I want to let you know that I have made a little bit of a change. The information, if you want a personal reading, I have put everything you need in the description box below the video. I don't know why I didn't think about it before. You know, like I've said, you guys know I'm not a techie, so it took me a while to realize, just put it there. <laughs> I've been getting hundreds and hundreds of emails, and I got to the point where I felt like I was not efficiently able to keep up with it. And after racking my brain for a couple of days, I realized, oh my gosh, just put it right on the video. So going forward, that's where it'll be. My email will be at the bottom of that information. Uh, you'll be able to check out the information, click on the link to make your reservation. You can just do it right from the video now, right from the description box, okay? So, I am continuing to use the Celtic Wisdom Tarot deck, developed by Caitlin Matthews. And uh, for those of you who are new and don't know, I'm a clairvoyant person with a lot of different... Uh, gifts, I guess, <laughs> along that pathway. And um, if this is your first visit to the channel, I am urging you to go and look at the videos that have come since the beginning of the year, most particularly the last three months or so. So, last month, as your initiation journey deepens, you were in the center of your reading, you know, right over the top, like this woman, this is the queen of battle. Spirit had uh, put you on notice, I guess, in a way, that your healing is deepening and there you are coming close to a moment when significant change is happening for you. A change away from the destruction phase of Pluto and toward self-realization. There was an augury here. Uh, and I've been talking to you for several months about prophecy, and um, the message has been, know thyself. Know thyself. And that was the topic of both of the readings that I did today. And so, um, I'm not surprised to see the Queen of Battle here. And what is significant about this is that the Queen of Battle is a shaman. A shamaness, I guess I should say. And, you know, the topic here today, in both of the readings that came out, and, you know, as I said here in this reading, it's about the shamanistic quality of the journey that you've been on. And, you know, at the end of last month, I think twice this message has come through for you. As you continue to perfect your energy, you were left with the notion of spirit having its arm around you for a very skillful dialogue about your essence, your nature, all the things that are underlying the journey that you had. So, this, again, if you're new or if you don't remember, this card in the center is from spirit. It's a direct message about the nature and the tone and the energy and the theme that this reading is going to take as you move through your human journey across to the spirit revelations that are meant for you. So let me show you this card very closely. 
See that? Beautiful, beautiful woman. Fertile energy, mystical, female, our typical shamanistic energy. This woman is of the mystical realm. And, you know, if you don't know the information about uh, animal, sacred animal uh, medicine cards and things like that, take some time and go look up Raven and Crow Medicine. See how she's activated? She's excited. Something very mystical is happening and you are being guided through the mystical portion of your awareness that is coming into you now from this moment forward. That's the message that's coming through from Spirit. That's why she's here. Yes, you continue to perfect your energy, but as an initiate, obviously, there is a shamanistic quality to your journey, and she's here because you're ready. That's what I'm getting. And see how the sun's coming up behind her? There is a shift and change that is happening. Very definitely. Okay, so that's the energy guiding the reading. Let's see what's here at the center. This is you. Look, <laughs> you know, you guys know me now. When I see this card, I just want to shout hooray because it's fantastic. Look at that. See that? That is a major arcana card. This is your, the representation of your energy in this moment through the days of July as you continue. And Spirit's telling me, and even beyond, all right? But this is the moment. This is the changer of truth. This is sacred male energy. This archetype here. Do you see the spiral of life? And out of that spiral comes the lightning bolt of change. Impetus. Male energy. Okay? The wheel of change is here and it is self-directed from the journey you've been on you have reached this moment and spirit saying a congratulations to you this is profound and in traditional tarot this would be aligned with the tower card it is about self-initiated change in order to go forward and be able to grasp that which is of your life evolving in order to let the things that no longer serve you fall away. You see the spiral there? See? Change. This is a beautiful card. Really beautiful. And you know, there might be a moment, I think there's a moment, perhaps, maybe not for all of you, but there's a moment where something is realized. See these two standing together? Spirit, you know, you are traveling through your destiny accompanied in this way, but also because this is a shamanistic journey, you are being nudged for shift and change. And you're, what, what I'm getting, really, is there's a moment of realization that is coming to you, and it is going to cause you to change the nature of what is true for yourself. That's what this is about. It's not about destruction uh, in an uncontrollable way. It's just about changing on the inside, coming to understand what is true, that perhaps you did not have the vision to see before. So, let's go. Let's see. Look. <laughs> of course. Remember that? This has been with you for a while now. So, now this is the first step on your human journey this, this, wow, I almost said this year. I think that's true. But, all, you know, this month. This card has been in various placements as you've been journeying through your initiation process. It was with you last month, for sure. There you are. That is... Okay, so Spirit's guiding me to talk about your crown chakra, the energy that you are emanating, that is both sort of able to come into you now and emanate from you. That is indicating that this is a process that's going to take time. That indicates the four seasons. Do you see the triple spiral? At the root chakra, and also here, you are grounded and open so that you can become a vessel for your own wheel of change. 
And when you change your truth, when you come into this mystical realization about yourself, it deepens this process of perfecting your energy. And here in your life, where you live, is what Spirit's saying, you know? On the spirit realm, obvious, you know, Spirit's saying, obviously, on the spirit realm. But here in your life, this month, something is going to come to you that's going to change the nature of what is true for you on the inside. And um, it's interesting to see this come out because that was the subject of some of the conversation that happened in the readings today. So I'm excited to see. Look, oh, Cappy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, this is beautiful. This is the judgment of skill. Look at that. So, you know, these judgment cards, it's about coming to a moment where you get to stand still and ponder that which has gone before. So, do you see this beautiful, you know, it's a pond or a lake or something. This woman has her vessel. She's here to fill her life energy, to be able to put it into a vessel now and have it for herself. And what she is doing, look at how gorgeous that is. She has gone into a little state and she's just a little bit across, right? You know, like when sometimes when we come to a place and we just go into the zone and we start to just go over in our minds and in our hearts where we've been and what it's been like having come to this safe place and knowing that change is upon us, now is the moment when you can rest and just look back. And look what she's looking at. All the battles that have come before. I'm getting choked up, and you know what happens. <laughs> you know, it's energy. It's a form of the intensity of the energy coming through my heart chakra from spirit attempting to touch you. That's what that's really about. All right? Those things that along this road have caused you harm, but also been your savior, right? Light and dark. Look at that. Spirit's asking me to put these two together. And, you know, so that you can feel the energy yourself. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It is because you have come into this place, deeper into the perfection of your energy, that you now have the ability to just ponder and understand what is true and what has been illusion. And you know, this card sits right underneath the changer of truth. Isn't that interesting? And there you are, looking into the sky, looking back onto your journey. In this moment when you have a shamanistic realization that helps move you forward. It's really beautiful. Look at that. And there's the purpose. Capricorn. This is about, for you, Spirit is coming through, you know, the message is, this is about deepening your healing. I don't remember. Gosh, I do so many readings. I'm pretty sure this has been with you also. And Spirit wants me to show you this, all right? So there's the judgment of skill and the judgment of knowledge. You're just pondering. So this is also about action, this card. All right. A lot of pondering. See that? A lot of just being in the new place that you're in, where you're feeling a little bit safer, so that you can have these moments where you think about what's been happening. So this card, as you may know, this is about coming into a form of stable power, despite all that has gone before. Do you see this guy has his staff in his hand? And, you know, it, he's got his hand out, and he's basically, you know, saying, hey, Give to me what is mine. It's time now. I've done my work. I'm in this place. So, 
the judgment of knowledge is about being able to understand the situation that you're in and how it has evolved in order to be able to stand up and speak your truth and ask for that which you desire. And a lot of Capricorns have not participated in that way. This particular story is about uh, some, you know, this guy was an upstanding member of the community. He was being stolen from and cheated and, you know, things like that, right? He found out about it. And he went and said, you know, hey, stop. Stop doing that. And uh, please give me back my stuff, basically. It's that kind of a story. It's a the Spirit's telling me the importance of this card in this moment. It's about the event where he became able to just face what had happened once again that message is coming through and you just you just sort of stand up in a stable form of power and you speak your strength and your truth about what has happened that's, that's the message that's what spirit's telling me about what has happened to those around you and to yourself that's what she's doing you know she's thinking about Having some realizations because she is sitting below the changer of truth. And here below the queen of battle. Isn't that interesting? There's the queen of battle. Shamanistic journey. The meaning of a shamanistic battle. And for you, coming into your stable place of power. And you know, it's interesting. My journey with Capricorn started three or four years ago. And I had a whole bunch of dreams. I've told you guys that's part of it. That was part of it. <laughs> it's interesting. Some of the dreams I had were about raging bears and things like that. And there came a moment when actually this... Oh, okay, here's the message. That's why that's popping into my mind. All right. These are both images of you. You in a place of disempowerment. Having your energy... Okay, here's what's coming through. Run you amok or cause you to be not who you are. And in this moment, you face yourself. See that? And you know, the message always comes through with compassion. You see, there's no hatred there. There's just clarity. Just real clarity. Standing firm and saying, um, hey, let's, uh, let's talk about this because this is not working for me. This is a conversation you're having with yourself, Cappy. There's something about this. All right, so Spirit's telling me, don't worry about the real, the sort of the background story of the card. It's about how it relates here on the table. You are coming into a place of stability in your own life. Yeah, see? All right. Interesting. Again, sitting next to the changer of truth. This card often has to do with futility and things coming back around, back into the light. The things that didn't serve you falling away. Transformation. Again, transformation. <laughs> transformation. Significant change. At the core of your being, in the shamanistic way, So one of the things I don't talk about, or haven't, you know, with you, about this card. You know, we've talked about it from the point of view of the futility of the things that you've been experiencing and how you've been behaving to some degree. This, in this placement, the other aspect of this card is about coming to a moment where you begin to realize what can be salvaged in order to carry forward and it's sitting next to the changer of truth see who's sitting next to the shaman and I'm 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 struggling a little bit with words because uh, I get it <laughs> I hope I'm being clear this is a very another major change and shift for you when you take the battles that you have fought and you understand your part that's what it is you understand your part 
and you can begin to speak your truth in a way that comes from your internal power in order to salvage those things that you want to bring forward with you on your journey you will have clarity about what the truth is for you as you perfect your energy I believe there are some moments of real um, awareness real sort of I was gonna say psychic vision I'm not sure that it's even psychic vision it's about having the clarity of the source because you know that's that's her job right she is the shaman of fertile battle being a sacred female energy and you know the message from spirit is please don't doubt the amazing shift and change that you've been through it hasn't just been about destruction it's about changing the truth of who you are in a very deep shamanistic way in order to perfect your energy so you can come into this moment in your human walk re-embracing yourself salvaging what has value for you now that your truth has changed and going forward with that because the sun is coming up Capricorn let's look and see look yeah so here we go <laughs> look at that beautiful card the courtship of skill you see that we've talked about this before there's lion-hearted energy the sun shining in the background this is about a new courtship with yourself deep self understanding that's the message that's coming through you are leaving behind those things that don't work for you and you are joining energy with yourself and with spirit having come into this great wisdom through the shamanistic process that you've been on and when you do that the mystery of your deeper self starts to become revealed this is a number three card and there are several things significant about it so room for growth a new starting point having left a lot of things behind all the things that have been torturing you that's what spirit is telling me you're leaving this behind you're moving forward it's moving off you know you see the placement in your day-to-day -day life your human journey it's moving off it's on the outside now something is changing she's here to help you as you make the shift and change it's coming from within you Capricorn that that's what I'm getting okay so see that standing on the shore of the river of life standing on a new shore getting ready to make more discoveries because you are hand in hand with yourself shifting and changing and growing both male and female energy the impetus for change that's what this is okay that's the other image of this card it's right there and the female energy in order to bring new growth it's a really beautiful message all right whoops yeah. see how that just fell right on top of that spirit saying yep <laughs> okay let's see what's here oh look okay wow Cappy this is beautiful really beautiful okay this is a continuation of the same message it's really clear spirit says just show you the card another judgment of okay so three cards that are indicating that you're just standing in this moment pondering in order to become ready to take these next steps clearly this is about the art of living All right. so you see this vessel one half of it is broken there's death there's lack of stability and the life energy is pouring out of it and the other half is secure and stable and see there's a spiral of life life continuing new growth happening and the way this is lined up on the table do you see how this is aligned with this and this is what falls away that which does not serve you the truth of your situation look at this line just that 
you can no longer stand in a place where you are having lack of self-knowledge. That's what's coming through. And that is a moment of intense freedom and definitely perfecting your energy. This is a process that's going to take a year. That's what Spirit is saying. Over the next year, there's going to continue to be this process. When you're going to come into yourself more and more and more over time, having all the tools you need, perfecting your energy. See that? Beautiful bowl of water. That's abundance and love and peace, compassion, tranquility. And there she is, sitting in that place, thinking about this battle. And there it is. It's moving away. And she is salvaging what you can take with you forward as your awareness and your truth inside yourself changes. You salvage from this situation that you've been in. And you go forward into a new form of courtship with yourself and with spirit. And this new growth period begins. That is very significant. Let's see what's here. All right. That's the dialogue of knowledge. Let's see? Triple spiral again. This is a very clear message, Cappy. Do you see there's a wise, learned person? Look at that young guy. <laughs> See the road he's traveling on? He's also holding his power. So, I can't remember if this has come up in your readings, but this is a really interesting card. It's about somebody who's been out uh, journeying. And uh, he was the son, actually, of the, um, oh, the wisdom holder of the tribe. I, the word that was coming through from Sir was the poet laureate. Back in those days, things were handed down in an oral tradition, and it took an entire lifetime, and one had to study for many, many, many years to be able to attain this position that was handed down a family lineage. He was away having his youthful adventures and learning about himself, and his father died, and he had to travel home and sit in the chair, and it scared the life out of him because he didn't feel ready, so he disguised himself. And that's part of the journey that you've been on. There's been, do you see where this is sitting? See this line? There's something about how you disguised yourself. And then you had to face it because you were cheating yourself out of something. That's the message that's coming through. And through this perfection of energy, <clears throat> pardon me, and this shift and change, you are coming home. Perhaps feeling unworthy. That's why he put on the, see the fake beard? And he had a visit from this guy who was a friend of his dad. And, you know, the part of the tradition was to just sit around and have conversations about all the things that were held, all the knowledge that was held inside. He finally said, you know what, I, I, I have to step off the chair. I've been uh, here under false pretenses, as if anyone would not know that it's him, right? It's a little silly, but he pulled off the fake beard and he revealed himself to this man and said, gee, you know, I, I'm i not ready, and I just felt that I couldn't handle it. So I've been trying to uh, fool you, basically. And he stood, he stood up and he said, I want you to come sit here until I'm ready, because I'm not ready yet. They changed places. This guy sat in the chair, and he the first thing he did was say, okay, I'm putting you back in the chair, because you are ready. You've come into your truth. And you were strong enough to say it out loud and to stand with yourself, the truth of yourself in this moment. And that is what power really is about. Being in your truth. You know, it's a, there's a spirit saying to me, it's a form of bravery that most people don't understand. There is no shame in being youthful or being on a new path or not knowing everything you think you need to know because life is a journey. You're not supposed to know everything in every moment. You're supposed to be open to shift and change. So, <laughs> that having been said, look at that.
that. You know, I think I've said this. I'm sure because I, I talk about this. Uh, you know, the, the spiritual warrior's journey and battle is always with the self. It's the hardest part of anybody's life process is to face yourself and to do an evaluation in order to come into a deeper level of truth about yourself. And this is right at the core of your being. With this shaman standing here with you, this fertile moment, mystically fertile, where you come into yourself and you begin to see things in the light that you have not before seen, reclaiming your power and letting go of which does not serve that which doesn't serve you as you move forward into your spiritual adventure, you will salvage those things that you discover about yourself and about your situation in order to bring it forward because you are stepping onto a new shore. Really beautiful. Really greatly beautiful. Let's see what the outcome is. Look, of course, of course, Cappy, I just love you so much. Look at that. Wow, all right. There you are, on your beautiful soul journey. We've talked about this before, I'm sure. See that, as you slumber, as you've been through these battles, there has been something very deeply mystical about it. And your soul has been lifting and going through this portal. You've been out having this adventure. And look, there's the sacred bowl right above the triple spiral, right above your head. Okay? Deeply mystical, this journey you've been on. You are continuing. You are learning. I believe, <laughs> Spirit says, do this. All right, so here's, here's the message, Spirit says. This and this. Your, your inner core is undergoing, beginning the process of undergoing its final shift and change. And that shift and change that is going to change your essential truth that you hold inside yourself is bringing you to the next step in your journey and your development, your relationship with yourself and your relationship with others and how you attend to those things. Because this is the purpose. You are continuing and your healing is definitely going forward. And you know, last month I was talking about your healing um, through the woman of knowledge, through the bones of your death. Right? And there's your soul. That's what spirit wants to say. This is a continuation from last month, for sure. Just to let you know, this is the nature of that journey. It is very deeply shamanistic to have a healing based on your own fall, your own death, while your soul journeys. That is where you have been. This is why you have been through those things, in order to bring this change. So that you have a very firm command and understanding of yourself as an actor here in this world and what it is to have a soul journey as you go forward. So there is more preparation here for the eclipses that are coming in August. I'm going to be, so, I'm just, I'm already just filled with curiosity and, um, you know, God willing, goddess willing, I'll be here to speak with you about what's coming through from Spirit. I'm wishing you a wonderful month of July. I believe something's happening. I would love to hear from you about this. What it is inside of you that you, when you come to a moment of realization, you see? Spirit's telling me to do this too. When you come to this moment of realization and things shift and change in all of these ways, 
you will understand. That's the message. You will understand the shamanistic nature of it. And the truth of it will be in some way a great surprise or a great shock to you when you come into this moment where something is revealed to you and it changes the very nature of your inner core and that which you desire, what you ask for from others and from yourself and how you stand in yourself going forward. So Capricorn, thank you so much. I'm very eager to hear about your adventures this month and I will look forward to speaking with you in August. Thanks, Cappy.